Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to show you something that took me way too long to figure out, so I thought I'd document it, and that is how to add a column in Microsoft Project that you don't see. And so I was on here, um, on the screen in Project, I was right-clicking things, I was going into field settings and custom fields, and it was right in front of my face the whole entire time. If you look at on the work breakdown structure or the Gantt chart as it's labeled here on the left-hand side, there's a column that says add new column and that so you can add your own columns um, to ServiceNow or not to ServiceNow to Microsoft Project. Um, but if you just click the little arrow that you saw there, you can get to all of the fields that are associated with this particular project. And as you can see, there are hundreds of them, lots and lots of fields. So think about something that's there out of the box with Microsoft Project before adding your own custom field. And if you do need to add your own custom field, you definitely can. Uh, it was a quick short one, but I just, you know, spent too long looking for that and I was like, well, I gotta get something out of this. Let me make a video so other people don't have to look so hard for how to add a column to Microsoft Project. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.